Hey everybody, this is Arnabus98 and I just wanted to make this video just to show off a few changes I made to Optimus and a few little extras just like in preparation for another video I'll make probably after Brick Fair Yeah, I want to get this video up before Brick Fair since uh, Brick Fair is tomorrow and that's when I'm leaving so yeah, let's get started. I did find some changes to make with Optimus even though his original was almost perfect well, of this guy and that's why I didn't want to make his instruction video so soon, because I want to make, get the Bricklink orders to get the parts for these for these things. And yeah, there's only two major things. First of all, those little hands. I changed a little. Instead of using like the regular uh, ball joint piece, I just used one of the clips in here. It makes the com connection much looser. And since in this original video, you can see when I was moving the hand, I was trying to make sure this part didn't pop off, and this definitely helped prevent that. And in addition, um, this little piece here, um, you can like, yeah, this actually keeps his arm in place because it would flop down without it, which it, it wasn't a problem in my uh, first video, but you see, he's going to be holding some heavy stuff, so I needed this. And none of this affects vehicle mode. This actually just goes in his little gap by the side of his truck, which is perfectly fine. And yeah, that's it for the changes. I should have his instruction video out after Brick Fair. His stud.io file is basically com complete, and that should be pretty easy. Yeah, so, um, yeah, if you can see the thumbnail, I did give Prime a little, some weapons. It's a little DLC weapons pack here. And I'll just show these off individually. And first of all, we have his little ion blaster, cannon, whatever. Um, this is exactly the same thing as what I did for my Evasion Mode Prime one, just change the colors, give it a new handle, and yeah, since it's reasonable, it's, it's the exact same one he uses in Age of Extinction and Dark of the Moon. And the cannon, um, there's a little clip here, which you go right into the T-piece here, um, yeah, it's pretty simple, these little uh, binoculars on the side like to come off, they're supposed to be for details, just clip it on, and then you just wrap the fingers like that. And then it just came off, but whatever. And then you can just take his other hand and hold it like that. Yeah, he can't really hold it too well with the, his single hand, which is because of the ball joints or whatever, but it's it's still nice. You can hold it with two hands and be like, we will kill them all. And then next up we have his Energon Sword. This is the handheld version of the one he has from that comes from his wrist. Like he uses in Dark of the Moon, I think. Yeah, and this part just tabs in. I just swapped out the piece for the bracket for this little clip so it just goes right into his hand and this was really easy to make since I already had the Energon swords designed already and there you go, he's a little handheld sword next up we have his shield, he's in Dark of the Moon um, yeah this thing's pretty big, it was really fun designing this even though some things, I had to change a few things but it's a big nice shield and let's connect that, first of all you just need to take this little port, flip it out and then this section will fold, connect to here, and then just fold over like that. Switch it up. Yeah, it is a bit heavy. That's a problem. I tried my best to make the, sword, the shield as light as possible by removing a bunch of pieces, but it still doesn't hold the, too well. You kind of like balance it, like kind of hit his like knee a little bit, and it'll kind of hold there. But yeah, that looks really nice. And his final weapon is his axe from Dark of the Moon. Yeah, these are all Dark of the Moon weapons. Um, yeah, but uh, this is my favorite out of all of them. I just love how I designed this, like, like the orange highlights and stuff, and surrounds like this area. His little Energon axe. Unfortunately, I don't have a little Megatron head to run this through, but maybe we'll see when I do make a Dark of the Moon Megatron. And yeah, this is like this is one of my favorite weapons I've designed for him. And I didn't have any of these weapons for his uh, uh, version 1, 2, and 3. But yeah, this clip will go right into the port here. It's a little difficult, but... It... And there you go, and just grab the fingers around here. He also has trouble holding it a little bit. Yeah, actually he doesn't. Yeah, he holds it pretty well. Yeah, and there you go, here's Prime with his uh, axe and shield. I love this look. Um, yeah, he's ready to take on Sentinel or Shockwave or... Yeah, I do have Shockwave, he's just not in one piece right now. He's getting ready to be packed up, but yeah, that's it for the little weapons I've made and improvements. And yeah, here's Prime's, all the Prime's weapons I've had combined from all the ones from my first video and accessories, but yeah, let me know if I'm missing any of the smaller weapons. I know I still have to make the jet wing, I have to make jet fire parts, and but just for like the small weapons, I think I have them all. 
Yeah, with all these weapons, um, I wish there was a way I could store them somewhere, you know? And, um, you know, one little thing I made to Prime, I did make, I did switch out the trailer hitch for a newer piece, and, yeah, that would probably be my next video if it isn't a Brick Fair related one. I wonder what that could be. And yeah, by the way, this is not my Brick Fair surprise. This is something I was supposed to film before Brick Fair, but I just didn't have the time since I was working on the surprise. But I'll see you guys then, or at Brick Fair if you're going.